Hey guys, Learning with Chanda Science Kid here, and I just wanted to explore further into the word of the week, arrhythmia. So, let's start with spelling, syllables, phonics, and entomology. Spelling, A-R-R, -R, make sure the double R, Y-T-H-M-I-A. Let's dot our I, but it is spelled for my little ones. A R R A R R Y T H Y T H M I A M I A. Make sure to repeat it. Anyway, here are the syllables. A A R R M I M I A A. So here's the phonics and pronouncing. So here are all of the characters, but it's basically just pronounced arrhythmia. Let's break it into our syllables. A, uh, a, uh, riz, riz, as in rhythm, and mia, as in mia, the name. Me, as in me, and a, uh, again. Now this one is a little complicated. Entomology. Entomology is the study of words and their origins. And the origin of arrhythmia is starting at Greek. A or a without. And Greek, ruthmos. And it, we, we go to Greek again, combining these, a uh, ruthmos, to a muvia. No rhythm or lack of rhythm. And English, rhythm. And in the late 19th century, we combined those and got a rhythmia. Rhythmos, rhythm, a, a muthia, a rhythmia. See, it is all in a beautiful interconnected web. So now we have some bullet points, aka some fun facts. And arrhythmia refers to any problem with the rhythm of the heartbeat. So let's say a normal heartbeat should be this. People with arrhythmia would be like this. Or. And this can be fatal because let's say your heart right here is pumping blood to the body. If the heart pumps it too fast, then it might not be able to sufficiently give each other all of the other cells oxygen. If it moves too slow, it might not even reach there. Let's say this is the body. Fast would be like this. See, look at that. That is it going too fast and not giving enough cells. Here's slow. Oh, one minute has passed. Oh, one minute has passed. It never gets back to the heart or to the body. And that can be fatal because if you didn't know, we need blood. <laughs> anyway, there are some hidden words in arrhythmia. Anyway, let's name them. I will name ten, but there are many more. So one, two, three, four. And then that'll just be like showing that's all the stuff of arrhythmia. So it can be broken into A and T. Let's start with the first five being in the order of it. So A R A Art A R T A. Does ATM count as a word? Put it in the comments, or is it an abbreviation? But I will add it, A-T-M. And I don't think there are any more that appear in order, besides Mia, which is kind of a name, and not a word, M-I-A. So now let's move on to ones in random order. So Ari, um, so let me see. I will find some and 
there's no ant, and that is a common mistake because there's no N in there. And let's see, A, T, <laughs> yeah, at, A, there's always at and am, A, T, comma, A, M, and there will be yam, yam, as in the Ghanaian food, as in the African food, sorry, yam. And then we are at one, two, three, four, five, six, four more to go, go and that's the stick. Yeah. Okay, um, we have Y, T, let's find words that start with T. T, H, A, oh, there are no two T's. Um, do you guys think that counts for me? That doesn't count because it uses T two times. And, oh yeah, ant. <laughs> Can't forget ant. A, N, T. For me, there's, for me, the amount that's left is three. There's Mia, THM, TM, TIM, Tim. So yeah, Tim is kind of a name, but that still counts. Names count. And any A N Y. And now we're at nine. <laughs> One more left. Put it in the comments below. And you can add even more to increase the Arrhythmia Gallery. So look at all of this. What do you see? I see the bullet points, the spelling, the syllables, the phonics, the entomology, an illustration, the hidden words in arrhythmia. But last but not least, a few more cool facts is it can it's usually caused by heart damage, can be fatal, and get this. More, there are more than three million cases of arrhythmia in the US. Isn't that amazing? Also kind of scary, huh? <laughs> anyway, bye and keep on sciencing. And don't forget, the word of the week is arrhythmia.